Hi, this is Rob Wilcox. I just wanted to give you uh, a quick demonstration of some of the ways that you can search with Enterprise Vault. I'm going to concentrate on the uh, end user search for Exchange archived items. So, of course, the first place I'm going to start is inside Outlook. You can see here I've got uh, a bunch of archived items and I've already set up uh, Virtual Vault. So the first thing that we can do is what's always been called in the past uh, integrated search. We get to that, go into the Enterprise Vault toolbar, then click on Search Vaults, and usually this is the time when you have to wait a few minutes because this uh, virtual environment that I'm working in is hardly ever used, so I have to wait for active server pages and so on to um, wake back up again. So this right here is what's termed as integrated search. So I can search for a word or um, a particular email address that I've sent messages to. I'm just going to turn that off so we can see the results. Or I can do more generic searches. I can just search for everything and you get a list back here uh, with a little bit of information about each of the archived items including how many items there are and by default these are sorted by date so the newest items are on the top of the list you can see as well that I can see the size of the items and part of the message as well as the subject so if I click on one of these items that item then gets retrieved I can do other stuff like restoring an item and I can get information on an item and I can actually delete an item from here so this is integrated search. On top of this, what some users then do is a thing called advanced find within that. Because obviously, if I move this over slightly, there we go, this way, I'm searching for um, a, a bunch of different fields on the message by just using the generic search in the background. If I know it's uh, messages that I've got the word brawled in the subject then I can do that and just get the one message back so this wouldn't return messages where broad was in the contents of the message back into advanced find you can you can also do this the same sort of thing if you know it's a particular word in a message body then you can put that in there if you know it, who it's from or to you can put that in there uh, how old the message is like all these different bits of information help you get um, a filtering of results back rather than just hundreds of results where you'll never be able to find anything. One of the other cool things that you can do is you can um, search in a particular folder so by default this searches across your whole mailbox if you knew that it was something that you had um, sent to someone then uh, you can go into just a particular folder or if you filed it away if it's related to a particular project. These folders that are listed here by the way these are only folders um, that have archived items in them or have at some point have archived items in them. So that's integrated search added on to which you can do browser, you can do uh, advanced find, sorry. Um, another thing that you can do just whilst we're all inside the client is again off the toolbar here you can do archive explorer. This gives you a tree view type of structure of your mailbox and again here I've, I've changed a little bit of the settings and I've opted to include auto preview but you can also do the entire preview pane uh, so this is then you know very much like Outlook would be and again from here on the right click menu that, that you just saw a second ago you can move stuff to a mailbox, copy a mailbox, copy to a mailbox, delete an item and so on so some people like using Archive Explorer to find it because uh, find archived items because they're used to the Outlook uh, folder structure, the interface that way. One of the things that sometimes happens is, is after you've archived some stuff, the folders don't always appear here. My first suggestion would be uh, either wait 24 hours after the archiving took place and then they'll automatically appear, or you can just right click and do refresh, and that will get the archived folders. So. That's Archive Explorer, integrated search just before that. The next one is here, browser search. 
this launches uh, Internet Explorer or whatever your default browser is I'm just going to clear that away to the uh, fault search page and again this this is kind of like the advanced find page where you can search for uh, subjects of messages or the contents of messages you can also here choose whether it's all the words um, in any place within the for example within the subject or if it's a phrase that's your first word followed by your second word and whether it's um, all of the items if you've got three words specified in the subject then do you want only results that contain all three of those words uh, and again here you can filter down to particular folders if you're interested in that you can get up to 50 results back here and one of the things you can get is you can get you know brief medium or full results and you see the difference of that if I this is the brief results pretty brief uh, this is the full results and you get a little bit more information like the retention categories the type of message date time who it's from who it's to things like that um, what you can also do from here is um, you can pick a particular item and add it to your basket and then you can go to the restore part and if I then accept the defaults here and click restore what happens in the background is EV is going to go away and restore that particular item to the folder that we oh, just went through and that appears in the background just now over here so you can see that the uh, the item comes into there little delay there because I'm using cache mode for uh, Outlook um, but don't forget that's just a copy that's retrieved to there or restored to there, the original item still in the archive. Browser search, um, many people do uh, an enhancement to this. Uh, if we put in the address bar up here, if we put advanced equals three, you'll see the, the advancement that many people choose. Is Here there's a load more options that you can pick from. In addition, you can also select 500 items to return. Now I'd suggest for the most part that if you're getting 500 items back then you probably need to narrow your search down unless the item that you're after is in the first four or five items. The other thing that you can do here is return additional uh, attributes. So if I want to return a particular um, message ID or look for a particular message ID I can do a search here and you can see here that each item now is being shown with their ident which is a, an indexable attribute we call IDEN it's the message ID so what I can do sometimes we get asked whether we can do this is if you want to search um, for messages with a particular message ID then you can go in here and do IDEN go for that particular uh, message ID search and it's going to return all the messages in quotes that have that particular message ID and of course there's just the one but for example you could be searching across a number of archives and you, you you're not sure which archive it's in but you've seen something in the exchange message tracking logs for a particular message ID and you want to find that message ID then that's one way that you can do that uh, you can also do things like uh, searching for items that only have a certain number of attachments so you might be looking for something to do with um, a particular project and so you've got some keywords higher up but you're, you're searching for a particular document that you knew was sent in an email and it was sent with a, with a bunch of um, other documents so you might say well just give me all the ones where there's a, between 3 and 10 attachments and that will only return items in the results uh, that have between 3 and 10 attachments. The final thing that I want to show you here after showing you a briefly there browser search and the power of it by using the advanced equals 3 option the final thing is something that we get asked quite a lot and this will go back to Outlook 4. Uh, let's just go back to proper proper Outlook. So here I'm going to search uh, using Outlook's instant search feature for test mail 2. Now we can see instantly using Outlook instant search 
that the one item is returned and that's just searching uh, the current folder in my mailbox so any subfolders away off down my folder structure and I haven't got one here um, it wouldn't return it would just turn the one in that folder one thing that you can do is if you tick, on, tick the box here saying all Outlook items then you can see two items returned here now this is the shortcut item in the mailbox and this looks like the full item let me just show you how, how we can see where that's coming from if we go into field chooser all mail items and drag and drop Outlook data file up here what you can see here is it's coming from vault-rob which is my virtual vault so using Outlook instant search in this case on Windows 7 with WDS I'm being able to search from within Outlook the contents of the stuff in my archive in this particular case it's uh, metadata uh, data from virtual vault so this is going to be things like recipient information, date, time, subject and the up to 120 characters of the message body um, and that's that's always going to be the case when you're searching using instant search within Outlook of course the very very last thing is that we can search for um, uh, items using WDS um, here and again this time we're using uh, the, the hook between Outlook and Vault Cache and this time um, I'm able to see more items because I'm seeing them from within my true archive as well so this is going to be the full message body and the attachments and so on so hopefully um, you can see that there's a number of different ways that you can search from an end user point of view within uh, Enterprise Vault particularly from from Outlook from a user's browser and so on hopefully that's given you a bit of an introduction um, thanks very much for your time bye bye